My apologies, I brought people in much earlier than I had uh, announced that we were going to resume at 2.45 and uh, 2.30, we were all seated here. Uh, uh, Council, if you're ready, um, uh, shall we proceed? Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Thank Good you. afternoon, everyone. Yes, we are ready to proceed with the witness. I believe the usher has gone to get him. Good afternoon, Mr. Jaju. Council continue, Mr. Jaju. Good afternoon, ma'am. I hope you had a good break. No, I'm very familiar with the hack and Alhamdulillah, it was nice. Were you able to have some TRRC lunch? For the TRRC control in the bank? Yes, ma'am. It's been a great one. Hmm. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that you're still under oath. Thank you, ma'am. In the last session, we ended with you saying that you were still under oath. Thank you, ma'am. In the last session, we ended with you giving us a narration of some of the accidents that you witnessed within the presidential convoy. That's correct. In your capacity as a VIP convoy driver. VIP convoy we ended up with the Fode Jaula incident in the Funis. Can we continue from there? Lavanda Fode Jaula accident kunyale la Funi. Bari ndafta na kuntinya kabo to katenteng. Yes, ma. Was he the only victim in that accident? Atedamba ni mantoro soto accident kono bang. Actually, he was not the only victim. Tonya tonya adamba mungu moji mengi alongo ada bado accident kono. But he is the only guy who passed away. But I did run the more main banda. Can you tell us who the other victims were? Mo kote ngulu mo nudunda abata kono unata la nyadile. Actually, the other two got fractures. I think. Nji kita ko mo fura mo fura kote ngulu nudoje wale bar mo sorole. Because they were evacuated. Kato i. An overseas treatment. Kato ajara lo la banda la bangor ka. And who were those two victims? The two victims were Adam Ajang. Who was she? She is a, a soldier as well. Do you know where she is currently? Yes, ma'am. Please tell us. Of course, the She is serving at the naval unit. In the Navy. And at that point, what was her role in the convoy? She was also a, a bodyguard, but she's an officer. A bodyguard as well. A former bodyguard lady, Kandrala Lamari, but officer Lamkewala, more than Soya Kundara. What about the second victim? The second victim is Fanta Jame. And who was she? She is an adopted child to the former president. And did she occupy any particular position? In the government? Yes, ma'am. What was that? She was a protocol. Protocol or Martin? And you've already said that they suffered fractures. Can you give us more specific injuries um, about the nature of the more specific um, points on the nature of the apologies? Actually, they were not plain, but what I know for Fanta, uh, is she got a neck. For Adam Ajain, but Adam Ajain ta was a hard leg. Well, my sing ota singul singulam. And you said they went for over three treatment. Where were they taken to? Koe samba bangkoe bantala katejara. Yalo ni samba bangkoe mengamba. At 
First day we are taking to Dakar, Senegal. Follow, follow, yes, I'm about Dakar, the Senegal. Then later, they were taken to either Germany or Sweden, I think. They were about Allah, yes, I'm about Germany or Sweden, killing the bank of Gilin. And what happened to Fode Jaula? We don't get a Fode Jaula. Fode Jaula passed away. Fode Jaula, I mean, your daughter. And was anything done um, in respect of his funeral? Well, cooling out a kebang pruka, tamandiala, kuoto, ala ba, mimbeko, ala bade, o Kenya. Actually, we went, we all went to the funeral. And who does um, that include? We all went. We come bele tata. It's an injuman, injuman, injuman. She was with us, so almost every one of us went. And in Benyoka, so I went and the come bele tata, katala sangoto. You mean members of the convoy? Well, I'm not the convoy of Kononumbal. And even the sympathizers inside the state house. Please go ahead. Then tell. Well, I'm not going to continue. Yeah, we went to the funeral. <coughs> After the burial, we dispersed. So whatever took place, honestly, I don't know. And this was a specific incident or accident involving members of the convoy who were working at the state house state house at that time i mean you know accident that me ya lo ko men no be do ko la min state house wo tembo wo le da tartani accident wala how did their treatment differ from civilian victims who were usually involved in the in accidents around the convoy tell you we topotoro men kela and you know, do you let the road for the tiny idea? Many along with civilian lady, many along in an accident sort of in in convoy. Actually, for for the accident in, that includes Fode and Aramajan, it was very obvious. It was in my presence. Uh, and accident women get a Fode and in Aramajan or let one or get a yellow. But any other incident that happened out of the convoy. I don't know the protocol that took that takes over. Who come here and go at home? Ata me along with a man who convoy in Kono. Mong to anya to anya man fell over. I am referring to accidents within the convoy and not accidents outside the convoy. Ko accident lo me ni along ko convoy la molo bulata Kono. Ma fa accident lo me ni along ko ekata convoy ya bandala. Where you had victims who were civilians and not staff of state house or members of government. Let me along ko. Uh, I cannot remember one unless I am informed. But you clearly remember that in the case of Fode Jaula, the victims were taken overseas for treatment, that is those that survived, and then a delegation involving the entire convoy went to pay their respects to the family of Fori Jawla. But how can you know that Fori Jawla bring at the Kuketa convoy in the Mulu and in Mulu when they balafa so to do kulalu itata ma be ala sangoto ala bade oto. Hanu for inate ma koe menu baranta kono ye bundi jang ye samba itate jara bangko e bandala. That's correct. In the case of the Arab or white, white man in the Bijilo accident, you couldn't tell us what had happened to the victim, whether he was even taken to the hospital or, any, um, or anything that the government did to actually pursue his family or anything like that. But the accident was not the Arab or the Arab or the Arab. Bruno la accident uketa malum fo ye kulo ne me ya longo ina taka ala kuto wale mnyuti wala kata abadi uli ya ala dimbaya lu wala la mulu fo kuta mande ala kuto bang bring accident ina taka fa botala. Actually, I don't know whatever protocol took over. Tonya malum mungu le na rana tama je accident ina kola. But it is clear that you didn't attend any such event if it happened. Bara kuhita kwa etele mama be imama be a kuo kundimto ni misali kama ana ataka fana. Not at all. Ana na mangi. Can we move on to the next accident? You mentioned an accident involving one papa chair. Yeah, ngata accident dodo. Accident ufumea lengo papa chair la wotarta wole tarta accident ukolo. That's correct. 
Tonyala wadi. Tell us his full name and where the accident occurred. Ato fanya ngato na kunto ya fanya fanang accident wenye kera mintole. His name is Cherno Jalo. Ato mu Cherno Jalo ndi. We call him Papa Che. Nunga kumande ni Papa Che la. We were going to Kanilai. Bira kanu Kanilai. When he was having this bulletproof vehicle. Tembo mena motoba bula mbona ni kamera nko bulletproof ola kido boka mendo. Is that one of the reserve vehicles? Udumu ni reserve motor nko na kile nati bang. That's correct. Tonya la. Tell us how the accident happened. Before you say accident nata Kenya me. I can only tell me the way it is narrated. I did not see it physically. Nzime mfo na wala mindi ya fanya nyame bara nta fanya kundo nyana na masedea. But you were in that convoy. Bara ibe kundo ni kuna lemu. Yes, ma, but he was at my rear. Ah, benu convoy kuna bara benu koma le, adabenu koma le. Just like four day jaula was at your rear. Ko four day jaula fanya ntarsa koma nyame. In fact, he was more far. And what four day? Adela fanya jang vata kaptan be four day koma. And what position in the rear was he? Ati betembe juma leto utumu silang koma niko koma abe tembe juma leto ane konvoyo tem. Is the last reserve vehicle at the rear. Ati lam moro labangoti mea lam moro menga taraje fankando kama ati lebe koma. And what position was for the jaula? For the reserve vehicles. Ati bet makama juma leto nu reserve moto la karola. For the jaula was next to me because I'm the first reserve vehicle and he was the second. Fodoe jalo bengkoma le me me moro me anongo be fankando kama mo fodoe jalo bengkoma. And chano jalo would be the third reserve vehicle as you. Amunta uto chano jalo ane wake la moto sabanja uti reserve moto luko na na mirror road. That's correct. Olem tuani adi. Who narrated this incident to you and what did they tell you? Juma le akuni sata ite ani yamuna foye. It was a hearsay when we reached our destination. Kule mianu kwa moiru kumole ndo birim fura na tare dingira don karada mendo. Who told you about the accident? Jumale accident ni mfungo la kumofu. When we reached, it was the commander that received a call. Birim fura na ntadla ro commander ni wale telefono soro. Then the matter was explained to him as per the accident. Kuni nata na sada kusudi ni accident ni nakuor. What information do you have about what had happened? It is kibar kibar for some sort of cool to many along co will look at accident in the Carola. That as we were going to to Kanilai, the moment of Bidaka and Kanilai, we were moving Bidaka when we reach Busumbala, the moment of Furuta for Furuta for Busumbala Lembang, the space that Papa Che lived in between the two vehicles. Papa Che, ala moto ni moto mbwa nyato, jamfomeng jamfomeng beitema. The distance was too much that somebody wanted to cross. Jamfu itemo ni jamfu da baake la mall after kaka kamano kundo. Eventually, when this guy approached upon crossing the vehicle, nimare nying the road place, nimare nying bitembo me na lafta kamano kundo. So then, le Papa Che almost reached him. Wado Papa Che furatama. So he. Try to maneuver him. Papa Che kata da kapur ka ka kabora ala domani ka pray kanama. So the vehicle got twist and then. Moro ni namara. Then there was a van parked just after the highway. Wato moro do vano olive lori mano karanda ola je. So Papa Che's vehicle knocked at the van. Papa Che la moro ni narna o vano ni tampon. Can you tell us if the van was on the road or off the road? Afanyi vano ni abelori silo le kamba ufa abelori silo karanta ngola. The van was off the road. Vano ni ba manoe karanta ngola. And you are saying that Papa Che, in order to avoid hitting a pedestrian, had to basically divert. Munda inifuko Papa Che, a a a a jengeta mole yeme ya longo sina tamala le moto pro akana utaki wala na nata nata ni vano utaki. And that resulted in the accident. Well, look at the accident in Delhi Road. That's correct. Well, I'm drawing out. Were there any casualties? No, so don't tell a member of the media. Well, I mean, if I did, I was told there were casualties. Yeah, for you, like, oh, more about the media. How many casualties, if you know? No, just let us say, I'm not going to tell any along. No, I don't know the number. Malam, monangam, jellem. But by 
the word casualties, it would mean it was more than one. Niko casualties, wala mnyenti amoni, kuketa menula ya siata mokili mutile. That's correct. Wala mtu ya mtuanyadi. Do you know what happened to the vehicle itself? Mna yalo mmen kata moto ni mfungu la bang. That Chernojalo hit. Moto Chernojalo moto mentaki. Yes ma. Ade. What happened to it? Mna kata moto ni na. It got damaged. Moto ni tinya dale. How serious was the damage? La tinya sanga la tinya dale. The front was bumpy. Koma ni mbebo mi dale. What do you mean by that? The front of the vehicle got bumped. It was smashed, you mean? Yeah. Do you know where those casualties were seated in the van? That was not explained to me. But it was serious enough that more than one person died in that van. Yes, ma'am. Hade. On this particular occasion, you were in Busumbala, which is an urban area in the Gambia. You were not in a village. What was the speed of the convoy then? Nindong, alibu Busumbala le demi ya longo tenda la sate olong alimantera santo sate oto. Bari convoy ni laboro ni nimboro mbita kani abenyadi la bila miro oto. I cannot determine the speed. Do you know what speed you were going at? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. That he must have been driving very fast to be able to collide into that vehicle and cause more than one person to die. Are asenia toko moto ni mbabu rika simbo mene na utumo. Ala awaratale hanifu birayo vano taki Ana ata sababu hanifu mensi ata mwokilindi Memfata mwoto nyinko And also taking into consideration the nature of the Damages to the vehicle you explained Ani mfana ntinya menketa mwoto la Ni mfana mkorosi ya jibe Mfana saita ndiko utumo Boronyi asembo watale ni meye mwoto taki That's correct Kola mtuwa nyati Thank you very much for that answer Inu mbara ojabi roka do you know what happened in relation to the victims in that particular accident? Malo, first in allo, mune keta umulu la mune fata wa akshidamutu, mune nata ke ila kuoto. No, ma, I did not know. Malo, na mune nata na ke ila kuoto. And you didn't attend any funeral, even though you were part of that convoy? Ibe convoy wakuno nyanyandi, bari mana atama be umulu dodo ndina bade utu? Honestly not. Onyato nyam manda. In the case of Fanta Jame, the protocol officer that you mentioned in the accident involving Fudi Jaula? Budi, ya Fanta Jame la kumu mmfo, meya alonko atata aksida mkono, Fudi Jaula fata aksida mmkono. Did you play any role in taking them on that, on the overseas treatment that you mentioned that they participated in? Four kuta mandile bang ila makoro tupuruke sambakata jara rola bangkoe bantala Bring accident in Kita Fokapare. Yes, ma. Hade. What did you do? Tell me, okay. I was designated to be part of the drivers who drove them to Senegal. In Kita Dabu Molokono, Menu Tombong, Purkata, Moto Borondi, Purke Zamba Dakar, Purjara Lola. And how many drivers were there? Driver Jelebiji. We were three. In total drivers, Sabalem. Were you all VIPs? Tell Baby VIP control at Nungu to Mobile. That's correct. Well, I'm On this particular occasion, were you assigned to take um, any of the victims that may have been involved in the accident? Yes, no, no. For ye tombo ne puruka o molu samba mino tata accident wengo ne puruka samba bulato bang. We have received evidence that there were other victims who did not die but had suffered injuries in that accident. Kado na molu molu ne funa lusoto ndale mino bara mata o accident wengo ne mamfa bari molu soto ndale mino bara mata je. Yes, ma. Hade. What do you mean by yes? You went, you took them on overseas treatment? No, ma, I did not. Because I never knew about them, definitely. And you don't know of any of your colleagues who were involved with them either? 
ila kafu yo dolu doku yo lu fol fanal si soto isi kuta mandi la koto i have never had any ida were you part of any delegation that was sent to the family of the victims to go and sympathize with them? Fetar ta mulu fanalu kono le yemen ki nimulu la badi ngulu kang pour kata sa na konton la je. No ma. Ani. So as far as you know, that never happened. Ito la londo to to onen onen manke. That's correct. Tonya. Can we move on to the next um, accident? Sa inga ta accident do to. Can you remember what it was or would you like me to remind you? For Hakilo Samutale accident to Malay Walla ni left and see Hakilo Blandi. That was the accident that occurred in Lamen. Well, I'm accident to make it a Lamen Zadot. Please tell us about it. From Fanya Wotobal. And before we start, actually, I would just like to remind you about the evidence you gave about the order of the convoy. Mbe Hakilo Blandi la Janim Betentena. You mentioned the different groups that were involved in the convoy, the VIPs, military. The principal car, and then you had the cars that followed the principal car, which included the stewards and the protocols. Protocol vehicle was not part of the convoy. Protocol motor running and I'm and I'm amanda run convoy convoy akonon. And can you tell us the circumstances surrounding this particular accident? Sir, a phone you mean accident we mean kita lamenting a kunya lusata nyaba kita nyame. This accident happened before our arrival. Mean accident kita janin tol befudala. When we reached the destination, we met already the car was inside the shop. During before that, the girl and the accident occurred. The girl and the motor was running. The girl was being driven around. Can you tell us what events were happening around that time? After the mukul of the car, the man was driving the car. I guess we were from a tour. You just get a bond on Bangkube, Muru Muru, all that. We were made to understand that he was traveling abroad to another West African country. Is that true or not? No, I'm kibaro for an answer to call. Anya abetama kane kabo banko kang kata bantala banko lukang for wo akera wole nyama bang. No ma, that was not the case. Wo mangu kuoti. Okay, tell us. Can you tell us where they were coming from? Afanya wote kabo na mintu wole mintu. We are from Kanila. Normally, what happens is if we are leaving a destination to a destination, sometimes the protocols will be asked to go before us, or we will leave them there. Bebo kanu Kanila lewa. Watu dolbe jema menga mendel daka ke wole mende ko nimbira bebo la dingira nimbira dingira do. Protocolo lika wole kani wole ta follow do wole wole follow ita nyato yifuda dingira ni nimbira damendo. That was exactly what happened. Wole from left before us. It seems that all the accidents that were involved with the convoy, either they were coming from Kanilai or going to Kanilai, all the ones you've mentioned anyway. What was it about that route that made it so accident prone? It's by coincidence. It's supposed to be Kanilai. 
Could it also have to do with your frequent, with the frequency of your visits to and from Kanilai? Well, as a kind of influence, a lot of in Kanilai, well, influence It could be, but I don't feel like that. As a kind of, but into my own yam. You just believe it's mere coincidence. Exactly. I am not aware that you go and in cool the cabin door. No. And it had nothing to do with the way the drivers were driving or the convoy was moving. Are you man can you drive full by motor during the can yam? Well, the convoy will be taken can yam. I will not say that because I know the competency. I believe we've already covered um, that point and you've already given your evidence. But let's just move to the accident and just explain to us what happened. Okay. What happened? On that particular incident? Yes, please. I said the accident happened before our arrival. When we reached, we already saw the vehicle was inside the shop. So we dare not to stop. Yes, we are going to stop. We went and left the vehicle there. We went and left the vehicle there. Do you know the time span between? When the vehicle got into the accident and the presidential convoy, how far apart was it? For long, the Watu Yiriko Canyon the Jellema accident kerota Watu men anin convoy la tambi Watu. I did not calculate the time. Mo Watu ni ma ma bulandi na. But from what you saw, the protocol vehicle left the road and went into a Mauritanian shop. But yeah, man, you want me to protocol motor ni? I silo bula. That's correct, but I don't know whether he was a Mauritanian. All I know is it was a shop. You didn't say it was an art shop? It could be, but what I know it was a shop. Where was the vehicle facing? It went across, it was across, almost across. So it wasn't was facing straight? It was on its side, that's what you're saying. No, the head of the vehicle already get inside the shop. And which direction was the vehicle heading to? The vehicle was going towards Banjo. And what side of the road was the shop situated at? Coming from Banjo Lunding is by your right. And obviously the shop was located across the highway. Correct. So instead of going straight, the vehicle had diverted. I believe it must have been towards its left. Munda wato puka ten ten katiling kata wato accident nata keko moto silo bula ajeng kata silo bula nata tiling kata dumo bidiko kono. So was it on the right? For the akada buluba la fomara. It was on the right. Akada buluba. As far as you're concerned, what could have been the cause of that accident? Saying it is a zero to Munasik Sababu to Mayo accident Sabu. It could be speed. As you can know, Lana Tambola, Borola Carola. But an accident is an accident. Accident or accident or not? Was it caused by speed or it could have been caused by speed? As you can know, Motola Borola Sabu Bang for the Boro for only in Kenya, only accident in Sabu. That I cannot determine because I was not there. According to your statement, you said that the accident could have only been caused by overspeeding. Said it could have been. That is a probability. Only. Only. That word is in your statement. Well, it, it, it was by overspeeding.
only wala nyinti ko doron ne sa sabuno still is the mind i am speaking by mind but Ani? not physical hanin kabi hakilo lam bare med diam hakilo lam bare mandra diam gan gumfe let's look at the circumstances of of the of the evidence sedaro e me yitandi no la nya yitandi bang you have a car that is going towards banjo e moto soto min be tilindi go bita kam banjo vies on its right and goes into a mauritanian shop wala ta silo sangara bula ka jenke sila karola kata dum han fo murtani ko la bit ko ko tell us the damage that it caused a fonye ay munti nyar fo son ne fawki ji you mean inside the shop ibe bit ko ko non la bang of course yes ha mbolo i did not witness that o mo sere ya you saw the car e moto ni ngele and it was inside the shop andu abbe bitiko nyin ko la dun tatu mo me tell us what you witnessed seeing the car inside the shop doesn't mean that i should know the damage that it caused of kabo ko mo do nyin ja dun da bitiko nyin ko o man yi ko o man nyin firin go kabo ko nyan na lon na lati nyaro mo nanga mo me ngeje how could a car enter into a building without causing any damage it could cause damage but remember i'm also on a steering wheel so you agree that it caused damage in entering the shop caused by seeing it is on the go as it near okay no where are the bitiko local we've also received evidence to suggest that there were a lot of victims but in a senior of an answer to them go my jamali touch accident in kono de menu man to rata ji i will not dispute that because i was not there we know that you were not there but you've told us of other instances where you were informed by other drivers or your convoy commander what information did you receive this time around na lon koy tije bari molu ka fute male ka menu foye ko e do ku yolu sa foye wala convoy commander ni informe ko ma foye accident ni koto yo laftalo na ete ki bar fa solo men soto accident ni to mu ke nyinin ka wala But this time around I did not receive any information information pertaining to a casualty. Nin tembe na nin sila dole man hani kibar soro me alon ko akita ka suji nin nin e barol ko wala men kada tay. We were told that there were several casualties which included students of St Peter's. Na nin mo ko mo jama fata ko no me alon ko St Peter's karambu la talibo le multi. It could be but I cannot attest to that. Asike no barin to sabatin din dola. Who was the driver involved this time? Jumala mumuto sambalati utumu mumbe mumuto burindika. He is called Musa Koli. Ato Musa Koli lede. Was he a civilian or military? Ato mu civilian lede ba unfu soja role mari. Yes ma, he was a civilian. Ah, civilian role mari. And I know the distinction between accepting that he was over speeding because he was a civilian driver as opposed to admitting that your colleagues in the military were over speeding. Nalon ka tamu civilian de barbeton ko ni yaji be eh kafu nyolo anim men be sulo kan dolu ya foko to nya eh anim boro men bita kan wala finance mbo warta you were very quick in this case to admit that he was over speeding bare tariyata ka foko ni sulo de anim bori bale bita kan ni come again with the question i don't understand ni ngi karo ni muru ngamba ma ila ni ngi karo ni fa In a case of a civilian driver who was not part of the presidential convoy you were very quick to agree that he was over speeding as opposed to your military colleagues within the convoy who basically you refused to admit that they were over speeding and you said they always conducted themselves very professionally and competently amunta ni silo wayri ni mari mu civilian walti etariata ka sonko anim bori bale bita kan men ni e dolu fanal la kenya fatata me yalon ko mu sojar drive walti men yalon ko tarta accident lu kono andu wala karola e e man lo ka foko enim bori bale bita kan amunta fatam fan so do woleto aka aka wala bo nyoto When you come to the convoy we have civilians who are very good and they have nev never got accident before. Ni na ra convoy ra Karola. Na civilian driver so ral men ya lan ko beti hata ba kele driving na Karola and ni na man double na ina da na man bula accident la kuwa. Just kindly answer the question please. Ni ni ka men na dro ndia bi woto la. I was not I am not biased. It's what I know. What I know is what I'm saying. Man tara fasar la. Be nga men don dro ko le fo. I didn't say that you were biased. Ma fo be fasa rola. But it's interesting to note that you used that word. Bare aketa nya aketa ege jakandi koti brio kuma kamfo. Again, this was a very serious accident involving
Did you attend any funeral or Could take any of the injured to overseas treatment, for example? We had you been in accident, Mojama Fata Kono. You bari fodu Allah mulu katai fomo la fo mo soto ntale mulu tata mabe wo bade oto wala fali se mo mako yu lu kolo ke samba jara rola banko ye bandala. That I don't remember. Oh then hakilo mo mo. You don't remember attending a funeral? Hakilo mo mo taka fo esi mabe wo bade oto ba. We are a victim. Who was involved in an accident in the presidential convoy died. Deme ya longo mofata accident oto bring convoy be borikang inim me accident ke siloka. And this was not just one victim we are talking about. These were multiple victims. These were children, school going children. It was a very tragic event. Aro ni mukule deme ya longo amanda mo kilim na sa ya la de mo jamal le fata je alum. Ni ni aji be dindungu le mule deme ya longo be karamundo dindungu le mufango. Right, I was not aware. Tonya, but I'm the more calm. Is it not the case that nothing was done usually in these kind of situations, and that's why you were not aware and you did not attend? Oto mosafuko fe wofe mambo manke unindindungu la kuto wale akendi imambo fe fe kalama menti tama dindungu linyi la kuto. Be quite honest. That is. What I cannot attest. Tonya, Tonya, the one who could be on court, they must have been Let's look at the incidents surrounding the throwing of biscuits during the presidential convoy. When you go for an injury, biscuit fire men kake. President Munna be tama la la convoy or nay be worry kang aka biscuit or lumen fire. Go for an injury, ba. You were present during those occasions, weren't you? Because the Mabela or Silo Doluto. Na be tamasilo kanga biskito lufai na mera dunukete nyalale. Yes ma. Hade. Looking at the purpose of the convoy and the fact that it was supposed to provide protection to the president and security conscious, would it be normal to have the convoy stop or slow down mid traffic, and then for the president to be throwing biscuits and passes by to be coming towards the incoming traffic? Ni aju be convoy na be taka. Menu be konvoy ni konvoy ladu kumi ni nipuru ka presidentu kanta ka tangkandi yao barabitu ni aji be ni bita kwa wanya moto luke si moto la hano for presidentu kana ka biskito lufai andu ni yao beke kwa moto ka kidi nane puru kana wao biskito luta wao kwa Kenya ni aju be wao dun ete yao jenya di. It could be, but it cannot be determined by me because I'm too junior. Asikia nola barinte to kuni inda sabati dunia la karo watu la ndela makamu makamu ndiindi. Isn't that creating a dangerous situation, even to the security of the own president? For the water canal, the sabot, the main thing is the sabu, the convoy, the sabot, the table, the president from the tank. We are soldiers. We are bound to live in any terrain and any situation. Can you answer? 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 Can you answer the question, please? And keep in mind that you were a VIP at that time. You were offering close. Protection um, services. You are a personal bodyguard. Jaja, we cut out to move. It is a VIP makar mole kono. And when at tell the mole, which many along ka alikata the president la ni kamma la purka kanta katan kan di film film mame along ka si wuli no ata kamma. You have been trained um, to spot out security risks and threats. And we are currently preventing security from to record in many na sababu convoy ni ma alisio general alia suite ni misali kama wakufusa mo yetili na convoy la. And that is why you were actually on that convoy to offer him protection. So your opinion matters. It doesn't matter whether you were junior or not. And as far as I'm concerned, you were not that junior. You had been on that convoy for a very long time. Oto o convoy kono ibijele. Andu imu dindinti bang imu kebati bang konvoyo nyingono fana tara ibije bari ite la mirror moment ite sio phone olentelie kwa ni nta matanya min puru ite phone yaje nyama military doesn't work like that so yare kundaro akuol bata wanyama even by the fact that you know that this is what is happening and you have superiors ahead of you na zaidi ite phone londo londo royal onko ni nini ni nini la fita kake bari ninga tu malamu benda imolzo mi biyanyaro everything works by order. 
we understand that, Mr. Jaji, but tell us whether this situation was creating a dangerous situation or not. No, 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 Mr. Jaji, but it could be taken in the Munya. Left out on a four. Was he my Sibo Sababuno about four at our Sababula? The orders you received were quite a different thing. You order me, dear, like a little bit of more cool elephant a fire. Which situation do you mean, ma? Ebe al hala juma le ebe menok mofoka. The situation of the president throwing biscuits whilst the convoy was moving. Where's the one of biscuit fire? Moluma, moluka kidinan kanaka ma. Adu hatra convoy obitakan. And having members of the public approaching the convoy. And when jama molu ni obiskit ol be fire kan. Ikanale purka na convoy o mafan na purka obiskit ol tombo. You agreed in your statement that it was a difficult situation to maneuver. Of course, sometimes we face those difficulties. And that's precisely the point. So was it a dangerous situation that you were trying to maneuver? Could be, but it doesn't happen all the time. As it can, but I will cool a man on Kabuka what will be. We are not talking about when it doesn't happen, we are talking about when it does happen. When it does happen, is it a diff is it a dangerous situation or not? Mantara for Kal na manke, Mkole na keta, for woman ke kukole to me along a keta a mantura koti umoli. If it happens, of course, it could be a dangerous point. Ninga tra keta tonya, abakela kuli man on kujaole muwaro. Thank you. And can you tell us what you wrote in your statement about this difficult situation that you were trying to manage? Sai inumbara afanye mbari afanye yeme safela kuma kango kono wo kukola ngulu watu la alka kata nyame mpuru albeku lu sambala nyame nu kukola ngulu bekeri. Afanye. On the side of the biscuit you mean? Eh biscuit fa yola nyina karola ba? Yes please. Ah. That is if 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 a biscuit is thrown, wala mi ndiko ninga e biscuit o fai. When the wind is blowing and then the biscuit will come back and try to roll over the over the the the, the road. Ninga thara fonyo be kering a biscuit oni fai fonyo kan biscuit oni murundi na neka fai manoka. You know sometimes kids don't even identify that a convoy is coming. What they are interested is just to get go and get the biscuit. Alon din ngole ni mo walbu ka fa ya bono nyoro ka fa ko motoka na le walu ka walu hakilo yoka thara mengang walu kan biscuit oni ka tombo. So obviously you being the driver, the only thing you can do is to maneuver. Escape of um, actually hitting that particular child that you mentioned. That's correct. That is a creation of a very dangerous situation right there, Mr. Jaju. If you would say that, I'm not saying it. The circumstances speak for themselves. You're on the road, your president is throwing biscuits. The biscuit is landing on the highway. The convoy is still moving. Convoy Children are coming on the highway. To pick up those biscuits. And you are trying to maneuver to to avoid hitting them. And you are telling me that's not dangerous. That's not dangerous. Ma, we are trained to face any other difficulty in the convoy. Okay, ma, so it was not something difficult for us. Despite the fact that your statement says that it was a difficult situation and you said it again sitting right there, this was not about you. It was about those children you were trying to avoid. Kwa hafela statement wa kuna yame yeko ufa mkukule niti Andu ufa msiri wa jamu kutake isa itaka Bari bitu wa dindu mulu menu mbela kumofu waka Atawol amantara wala karola wanya It was a dangerous situation for them You even said that these children don't even know whether the cars are on the road They are not even aware of that as far as they are concerned They are running after those biscuits Kusangarabala mwa dindu mulu ye Kwa hita fanga ya hafu yame yeko Kwa ya wairi bugu biscuit wale pejolo mkansino waka Umu kusangarabala wa dindu mulu ya mene ya lanko ya kawuli
we were able to survive this situation. Nga katale purung mem fum tangkata ko nyi ngal halo nyi kono. Unfortunately, those victims were not able to survive and many of them were crushed under your vehicles. Kita bala fadi atel kana tadi bari mo jama so don to mo kono. Meni alon ko e mankana alamu to liberty kang yefa. Where and when? Minto ani wari juma. Do you remember any accidents happening? We had to know simple like accident on the menu ketabal. The accidents that I mentioned, accident on the menu ngam menu kujang. Those are the accidents I remembered. Well, them accident on the menu kilo menu. I cannot imagine remembering an accident that is in is, is in connection with biscuit throwing. Nan ngam kilo mang accident muda me alang ko a chokita ning biscuit biscuit fire ni nakur. We have received a lot of evidence to suggest that a lot of accidents happened during that time. Ma sede ya kulu suto jamme ya itandiko. Accident jamale keta wa watu wa la watu wa meng akao biscuit fayo luke. And the situation you have described, giving evidence right now, tends to corroborate that evidence we have received. Andu itafanga ya afoja nyami. Wo mukule tume ya longko. Ayo wo sede fulo la wukumoto nya ya ndile. Ka foko wo mukule tume ya longko. Aketa kukule mwiliti. This is just another case of you denying knowledge of certain particular circumstances. Again, to protect the president. Nye mukule tume ume ya longko. Ye ibaso so kam kuteke. Nye mkamala. Ibe president wini natankandi kai malafe. Itoku ya fwama nye mkulu kono. If I was protecting the president, then I would have not mentioned all the accidents that I mentioned. Ninga zara be president ni ntanga kanem. Orante accident ni beef or orante pros into accident ni beef or ajam fola menukera. Talking about this particular incidents of throwing biscuits and not the other accidents. Ni aju be mbe mfo kamole ni biscuit fayo Kenya accident ni mnusoto tano tano mo accident ni lufo. I have never remembered any. If I could, then I would have said it. This dangerous situation that was created by the throwing of biscuits, did anybody, any of your commanders, advise Jame that this was a security risk, that it was dangerous for civilians? That is not my role and my responsibility. To know? To know if they advise him about it. And would you agree that they would be too scared to do so even if they, they were to have the opportunity? For the person that you know, if you want to be a child, 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 you want to be a child. How can you be scared with someone you are working with and then let, knowing that if you suggest anything to him, it might be a problem? People suggest to him, of course. I'm not sure if you have a problem. I'm not sure if you have a problem. And you drove Jame so many times. Did you make that suggestion? Seeing as he was so welcoming of advice from junior officers. Fukaja kwa akasoni ya maro luta lele akadia ni ya longo kabo muda menu baadhi fanga yeduma. If you know how it works, you will know it was not my role and my responsibility. Ni ya longo kwa kara nyama ibalo na loko kuning amanke na umanke na kudlong amanke na doko di purka oke. But the fact remains that it was your commander's role and responsibility to but, do so. But in the motto of your Lord, you will recall, "Allah commander, O man alone, can control all the and all the Lord." Kau ya marodi. And the fact that this practice did not stop shows that they definitely did not fulfill that responsibility. And when I find it a kawiri, a kony imana abula continentally, uto ya itandiko itelmai la ulu dula tamani. It could have been not only the commander. Could have been any other person, different even from the commander. Asike no, asike no la commander found Rondi. Asike no model from model from the Mialong ko aning commander faradale. It was the command, the convoy commander that was in charge. Bare convoy commander, me mu convoy oni le nyato ngoti. Wole bimara ling convoy la otembo. Could have only been his role. Asike no atel la doko mu convoy obita kan tembo me. Yes ma, it could have been the right of any citizen to condemn it. 
Zikiwe no bangu di bangu di la nyandori puru ayo kuwa nyinga banda mbila nyaro. We were not part of the convoy. Nita lumenta la convoy o nyingo no? It was military personnel, VIPs, that were part of that convoy. So jaro lumenu bije ani VIP o lu, wale be convoy o nyingo no? He could have been challenged in, 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 in another way. As in in Musa another way that you know he could have had it. Musa Mr. Judge, you just answer the question directly. Mr. Judge, you mean Karoni and Jabi? We are the commanders here and not members of the public who do not have that obligation. Allah commander, you mean Qatar are coming in Colombo or Lema? We are Qatar. We are not the people. We are not the But civilians are not allowed to move. We are not allowed to move. We are not allowed to move. Yes, ma. How are you agreeing or not? So, under the bank, we are not. Commanders, they can do that. Ah, uh, commander also okay, no? Yeah, that they never did. But as you know, I've finished the question. Otherwise, the practice would have stopped. As you know, not that I can on Tombi Woto Ababula Lale. In the case of throwing this biscuit, this is what I'm saying. It's not only soldiers who can even even address this matter. Uh, you know, it could have been ministers, it could have been any other person who can address it and he will hear about it. So not, it was not only the responsibility of commanders. Miss Kiri Fayo la Kura, manka nyindi soja rolde wananda komanda la drone la dunyo lonka nda dunyo mburuka kuwa nyi ndi yama ya pura ayabula. Minister la ni mkumo kota ngole, besa keno la ndi yama ya pura kuwa nyi ayamui ya sabula. We will leave the point and allow the commission to deduct whatever they want to from your answers. Wakola ni la jani, sahi mbabu la komisa mbulu, itelefoni ni ya juu be, ya jaba kesi wato, itelienda silo mengine alaji. The evidence is overwhelmingly clear. Ari sedi ya kuni wa seniata le leo kalabanda. Let's move on to other incidents where convoy members attacked members of the public. Nataka kubo luto, mimi alonko, convoy la mulu, mimi ba convoy kono, yeye mulu lu boing kangs, mimi alonko misiloka. Are you aware of? Such situations. For ibota ulu kulu bulu kala malabang. Situations like kul membelaring and alhalo menga muda nyadi. Where members of the convoy attacked members of the public. Kama convoy kuna mimi bije itaramu ulu boing kang mimi mu civilian ulti jamaa mu ulu yeye mimi boing kang silo luka. We have several instances of beating by convoy members and even shootings where members of the public or road users were deemed to have obstructed. The road. Beating and shooting. Can we be serious here, Mr. Jaju, and answer the question? Is is serious. Hitting somebody because of convoy moving. Can you answer the question? That is what exactly was happening in this country. Are you not aware? I am not aware. I'm not surprised by your answer. And what about treatment of staff at State House? You are a member of staff. You told us obviously you had no problems with and that is why you have defended him so well um, mm. during this session. However, tell us what happened to your colleagues. I'm sure you are aware of how he maltreated some of them. Some were sent to jail. Kindly tell us what you know. What are the scenarios that cause to their to their jailed? Let me hear the story. So I will tell you. Men na na me a sabu fe samba kasoro ni ngao mo in salong be jabila nyame. That is the question I am asking you. Ite ni ninka kamu wala. Ite ni ninka ninka mo la wala. Intel tije. Because you are telling me the obvious things that I am favoring him. And I think I will not come here to hold the Quran and swear 
just to favor an individual and fear God. You have a statement that you are aware of instances when he sent his staff to Mal too. Ita fa wanyo fela statement wa kumaka wanyo kuna leko. Kwa dolu soto ntale mei nketa yendiko ala doku la lubonu fa wanyo soto ntale. Aya menu kika sola. That is what I want you to talk about. Left a yo le fo. This is why I told you to remind me. Wale ya sabu mkwenye. It's a statement that I am not even given. So I wrote this statement almost a month back. Remind me. Kumaka na yala nko nga safele karikili mko mando. Nga kilo bulandi. We have to go through this again, Mr. Jaju. Mr. Jaju, ufumo muru nyi nkamu kota kebang. I am a human being, and I am bound to forget. This is a statement that I gave, and it's, it's been long. I cannot remember all. Do you remember the two convoy drivers who were involved in an accident with the first lady? Malum foi aquele que bula com o driver fulo lá me ia longo e nada acidente surto da me ia longo presidente o lano menino be siloca. Yes ma, I can fully remember. Ah de, na kilo eu amo ale. Were they not sent to mail to by the president? O presidente o mal que mail to. Yes ma, they were sent to mail. Ah, yes, amba caso de. Was that fair? O dono tinha entrado bem. I cannot attest as to where it is fair or not because I was not an investigator to know where it ends. As military, are you not part of the law enforcement mechanisms in this country? For me, so that bunda, far too many people, too many alonko. I tell you, that law and in kamo tamandi la in banko kanga in tiling. Yes, ma. Ade. So you ought to be aware of the law. Do you know if due process was followed in that case? This is why I said I cannot because normally whatever happens, you know, there must be an investigation. So where the investigation lead to? I don't know. I don't know. Are you aware that they were taken to court? I was not aware of that. And that shows it didn't happen because you were aware that they went to mile two. And in that case, it was clearly wrong that they were taken straight to mile two without any due process. Yes, ma'am. Are you aware of the law that says you can go to court and you can go to mile two without any process? And I would just like to read a statement before we finish with your testimony about what you wrote about President Jame. And maybe this will help us to understand why Perhaps you take the stance that you do. Mulanga yenyi lodula ta ite yenyi lodula me yitambite. In your testimony today. Ile ni sede ya rokono bi. It says that the former president Yaya Jame was very much sincere. I need to look up president when we jamu Yaya Jame molo me ya longo ahina ta. He always gives to people he knows and knows not. Akamu be so I menu long bang amam menu long. I assume you imply he was very generous. Mulanga yenti ko molo menka soro ke. He was very much particular about things and events that happened. And when you have any event, he participates unless he is not aware. Some of these accidents, they are mere rumors. And the way people are saying things, sometimes they will not understand until, unless they are part of it. I will allow the commission to make their deductions concerning those statements you've made in light of the evidence that you've given before. We thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, we hand over the witness to you finally.
Thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Jayu, for coming to testify before the Commission. Commissioners, if you have any questions, please indicate. Uh, Commissioner Kinte, you have the floor, please. Commissioner Kinte, can you hear me? Good afternoon, Mr. Jayu. Mr. Jayu, are you here? Good afternoon, sir. Um, I want to ask you about the accident involving Lamin, <coughs> Lamin Jai. I left the hearing car accident of Mayor Longco, Lamin Jai, Tatolaka, Jola Bamfon Jai. Silla, Lamin Silla, Lamin Silla. Yes, sir. Um, which part of Lamin's car knocked the, the other car? Lamin la motor min to a mafan name motor doing in Taki. Right in front. At Ilimola. Uh, what about the other car? Which part of the car was knocked? Motor do ni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men mila mila motor ni otaki. Oh, motor min to ma fan ni otaki roke. So this is why I said I cannot confirm that because we were in a in a move. Ko ni mkonda sabat ni nola katum bira umbe bori kanda nukara. We made the accident already occurred. Nata le ngatra accident ni ngeta. You will know that there is an accident, but you cannot stop. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Barak. Thank you. If there are... He's not there. Fine. Um, uh, Mr. Judge, if you have any final remarks to make, please proceed to do so now. Mr. Jaju, ne kuma soto silang ita falan bela kacha kumfala menna sa i falan siyo kuma kamalufu. Thank you, sir. Mubaraka. I am thanking the whole Gambia. The Gambia mo be tendula. By telling them that let them know that we are citizens. Ka foye ko isa long kumbi mo bangu dingo ledi. We have equal rights as any other Gambian. We are not in this color to maltreat anybody. We are in this color to protect the integrity of this country. Protect, they protect their life and properties. We are acting as servants to them. The idea they think about soldiers, let them sit and think about it. Having seen foreign soldiers in our country, it's not helping. We are soldiers that are bound. Soldiers to work with any president that comes. President, what president nara puru nae do kuoke? We must be loyal to to any president that comes. President, what president nara tholk nyenna kila mole de mole de soldiers ola karola me me alonko nyenna na kanoni na song tandi la male. No matter how long a stick lives in water, it shall never turn to a crocodile. No matter how long foreigners stay in our country, they must go one day. We are from you people, and to you we shall go back to. Yeah, you have sown a very big impact. TRRC is definitely educative. Let us learn to forgive and forget. Every human being is a sinner. But it is good for one to know his wrongs and goods. I am appealing to the TRRC that they have made almost everything clear on the ground here. Except one thing that I want them to observe about. 1994 coup was clearly spelled out here. 
1111 11 was clearly spelled out here. 11 11 for now, for now, get a cool man go for an senator. But the coup of 2014 December was not clearly 2014. Could it any more cool We want to know left out lonely who are the cause jumalle ma sababoti and who are the pioneers jumalle ko tabi and the countries involved and in bankol memba ko ko ma because if they could have succeeded ka do no ko da ni nga re ganye tanu we would have been victims and kala mo le bialan ko be kala tim ko ya mo le mi tarna ko ya mo is a cause for concern for us to know o mu ko le mi alon ko o mun na mi rol mi lafta ka long apart from that ni nga bodo wala you know i had a journalist who said that the Gambia doesn't need an army. Gambia Mansula Sojal Kundala. That we are surrounded by Senegal. Cartoon Senegal we murle. Each time we need an intervention, whatever means that they marola, we will call upon them to come and intervene. They commander a Burian Aye Dadun Nakur. I want everybody to understand that Gambia is a sovereign state. Left out of Mobe along Gambia, Gambia, and Gambia. In fact, we speak two different languages. And Kamal Mem for Mankiling, Momona Kamalam. So let us not fool ourselves. For Ankanam for Nene. We are a sovereign state. We are here to stand for ourselves. Mubangula de Mian Gongamfan Sotale, Bejanda Fanam Purungamfang Dema. I put in more light on what uh, the the last um, person said here that is Lamin Silla. Lamin Silla, Sero Men Landa Jang, Lavanga, Memphojan. He said about soldiers who passed away. I come from men, soldier or local men of father. This is a cause for so concern to all the soldiers. Nimukula de Mealonko, soldier of Bunda, be Nimukula de Yamealonko, I am Besula. We want the TRRC to invite Lafilis TRRC, a Bunyaro Commandroke, the wives of the dead soldiers who passed. Soldier or men of fat on Purtiaras, a Musul Commandi, who were either slaughtered, massacred, for no Beja Mealonko, ye canatele, or they are dead in the in the convoy. Waranto Ifato convoy in the corner. Let them give, it, give them a chance to hear as we had. Others wives. Well, for no soldier or men for the TRC, a command, poor Molfana, Yolfana, Kumo, poor Mokoton men, soldier, Koton men, Menufata, and Musoli, Dunia, Muyame. If they don't come here, we will not know how they feel. Ninga, Wolfana, Mana, poor Dunia, Mue, or under Motor Lonola, Mukula, based on the Molcona. And their husbands died for this country. And we came your bantan in Bangole. Mr. Commissioner. Mr. Commissioner. I wish I can hold the Quran. So that everybody will believe what I am coming to say here. When Lamin Silla gave his last remarks here, I was with Kansul Saga in her, in her office. I did not hear about Lamin Silla's testimony. But members of the TRRC I heard of. I heard them saying that they got guy Lamin Silla last living final testimony and me. How to call it? Cartoon. They would have to swing the swing affair. Aliya Mwele Lamin Silla lock makan laban rabi min fo kang affair fanya la ing cartoon bo ing kang or min kera je wul man kento la hajiti. I felt sad. I regretted why I became a soldier that day. From that day up to day, I could not sleep. Because I know the essence of this uniform is to die for this country. And nothing more. Do you know how many soldiers were killed in this country? Do you know how many soldiers were killed in this country? Do you know how many soldiers were killed in this country? We take this oath to to save this country and to this country we shall die for i am sorry if i may wrong anyone thank you very much thank you thank you thank you mr jaju uh, for your testimony we will uh, come, uh, come to you close now and uh, go on to uh, uh, Council, who is the next witness? Uh, I yes. have uh, Mr. Ibujaju waiting to... We come. need a five-minute break for, uh, uh, for that suspension. Perhaps uh, just one minute, but in the meantime, before the witness leaves, I just wish to say that uh, the TRRC agenda was set by a national legislation. 
and that is what we go by. Not the dictates uh, or the wishes of a particular individual. Left hand is the name Janko. T R R C la lo tan kang. Deputy Bumule yo kangu London in Banko kang. Bari amanke nintiko mo kilimu siuli ila kumakangulu kafu T R R C ta seta maulula. And uh, the commission has already identified the issues it would look into and it would continue to do so uh, according to the rules that have been uh, established by the commission. Alu komiso ya jubele ye kulubu nyoto le inyanta menu jubele alu wasarto li ya itandiko kule mwulti mwini alonko ye nyala tombone komiso inyanta menu la kulu menu bula nyoto kebo nyoto. Uh, this is supposed to be an inquiry into human rights violations. Uh, it is not an investigation for uh, those whose husbands died in the line of duty. So, so therefore, if the investigations does not incorporate that they should understand that it is simply because those who are not human rights violations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. very kind and uh, polite uh, to respond to these issues that were raised out here. We will um, take a five-minute um, suspension and then bring in the next um, uh, witness. Thank you very much, Mr. Jaji, for uh, meeting is suspended.